Hello students in this session we are going to learn grade 3 maths chapter 3 subtraction today let's get started with new chapter subtraction first let me tell you what is subtraction subtraction means taking away one number from another number subtraction is the reverse process of addition subtraction is represented by minus sign next let us see parts of subtraction subtraction is composed of three parts the first part is minuvan the second part is subrahan and the third part is difference minuvan means the number from which another number is subtracted subrahan means the number which is subtracted from the minuvan the result is called the difference in the given example 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 5 is the minuvan because it is the number from which another number is subtracted 1 is the subrahan because it is the number from which is subtracted from the minuvan and so we get the result or difference as 4 children you must note that the minuvan should be always written first and then followed by the subrahan children in your previous standard you have learnt about subtracting one digit number from a one digit number subtracting one digit number from a two digit number so let us have a short recap of these topics now let us recap about subtracting one digit number from a one digit number subtraction means taking away so the given example 5 minus 3 we have five pencils and we must take away three pencils from them so the left of pencils are 2 children in this slide we are performing subtraction by column method as you have already learned column method which means arranging the numbers one by one in their respective places so here we have one digit numbers that is 5 and 3 since it is a one digit number it has only one place that is ones place now arrange it in the column method so 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 thus the required difference is 2 next subtracting one digit number from a two digit number example subtract 3 from 58 children here also we will perform column method of subtraction so we will write the numbers one below the other and then subtract step 1 subtract the ones so 8 ones minus 3 ones is equal to 8 in the mind and 3 in the fingers before 8 7 6 and 5 so write 5 in the ones column step 2 subtract the tens so in the tens column we have only one digit that is 5 so 5 tens minus 0 ten is equal to 5 tens write 5 in the tens column thus 58 minus 3 is equal to 55 subtracting two digit number from a two digit number without regrouping example 2 subtract 48 from 69 step 1 arrange the digits in columns of ones and tens remember the biggest number is placed above the smaller number 69 minus 48 step 2 subtract the ones 9 ones minus 8 ones equals 11 step 
subtract the tens. 6 tens minus 4 tens equals 2 tens. So, 69 minus 48 is equal to 21. Today, we will see subtracting 2 digit number from a 3 digit number. In this topic, we will learn about the types of subtraction. Subtraction without regrouping and subtraction with regrouping. First, let us see subtraction without regrouping. Example 1. Subtract 13 from 128. Children, here the numbers are already arranged in the column method. So, you must do only the subtraction. Step 1. Subtract the ones. That is, 8 ones minus 3 ones is equal to 8 in the mind and 3 in the fingers. Before 8, 7, 6 and 5. So, write 5 in the ones column. Step 2. Subtract the tens. 2 tens minus 1 ten is equal to 2 in your mind and 1 in the finger. Before 2, it is 1. So, write 1 in the tens column. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. 100 minus 0 hundred is equal to So, 1 in your mind and 0 in the finger. 0 means nothing. So, we get the same number 1 and write 1 in the hundreds column. Thus, 128 minus 13 is equal to 115. Next example. Subtract 22 from 343 by column method of subtraction. To subtract by column method, first we make 3 columns such as 1s, 10s and 100s. First, write the bigger number that is minimum according to their place value. And then write the smaller number that is subrahan below it. And then subtract. Step 1. Subtract the 1s. 3 1s minus 2 1s equals 1 1. So write 1 in the 1s column. Step 2. Subtract the 10s. 4 10s minus 2 10s equals 2 10s. So write 2 in the 10s column. Step 3. At last, subtract the 100s. 300s minus 0 hundred equals 300. So write 3 in the hundreds column. Thus, 343 minus 22 is equal to 321. Next, let us move on to the topic subtraction with regrouping. Regrouping in subtraction is a process of exchanging 110 into 10 ones. We use regrouping in subtraction when the minimum is smaller than the subrahan. Example, subtract 76 from 323. Children, in this slide, the numbers are already arranged in the column method. So, we must perform only subtraction. Step 1, subtract the ones. Since 3 is smaller than 6, we can't take 6 from 3. So, what you have to do? Yes, you must borrow 110 from the tens column and regroup the ones column as 3 ones plus 10 ones equals 13 ones. Children, as you know already, 110 is equal to 10 ones. Hence, 13 ones minus 6 ones equals 7 ones. Step 2. Subtract the tens. Since 110 was borrowed by the ones column and 110 is left. Now 1 is smaller than 7. So borrow 100 from the hundreds column and regroup the tens column as 110 plus 10 tens equals 11 tens. So 11 tens 
minus 7 tenths equals 4 tenths. Remember 100 is equal to 10 tenths. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. Since 100 was borrowed by the tenths column and 200 is left. So 200 minus 0 is equal to 200. Thus 323 minus 76 is equal to 247. Next let us see fill in the box with the appropriate sign. Let us consider an example. Compare 127 minus 34 and 211 minus 12. We can see that here two subtraction problems are there. Now arrange both these problems in column method and perform the subtraction. First let us subtract 127 minus 34. Step 1. Subtract the 1's. So 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 1's. Step 2. Subtract the tens since 2 is smaller than 3 borrow 100 from the hundreds column and regroup tens column as 2 tens plus 10 tens equals 12 tens so 12 minus 3 is equal to 9 tens step 3 subtract the hundreds since 100 was borrowed by the tens column and 0 hundred is left so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 100. Thus 127 minus 34 is equal to 93. Second let us subtract 211 minus 12. Step 1. Subtract the 1's. Since 1 is smaller than 2. Borrow 110 from the 10's column and regroup the 1's column as 1 1 plus 10 1's equals 11 ones. So 11 minus 2 is equal to 9 ones. Step 2. Subtract the tens. Since 0 is smaller than 1. Borrow 100 from the hundreds column and regroup the tens column as 0 10 plus 10 tens equals 10 tens. So 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 tens. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. 1 minus 0 is equal to 100. Thus, 211 minus 12 is equal to 199. Children, we can see that when we subtract 127 minus 34, we get the difference as 93. Similarly, when we subtract 211 minus 12, we get the difference as 199. So, 93 is lesser than 199. Hence, 127 minus 34 is lesser than 211 minus 12. Children, I hope you all understood these concepts. Thank you.